that sideways motion carries angular momentum, which is what keeps you in orbit instead of falling inward. If you simply point a spacecraft at the sun from Earth, it still keeps almost all that sideways speed, so it doesn't drop straight down. It moves onto a slightly different ellipse and keeps missing the sun. To truly fall deep, you must remove a huge chunk of that sideways motion, tens of kilometers per second. Rockets can't afford that. Parker launched hard, but the real strategy is to bleed off angular momentum a few kilometers per second at a time, using Venus as an intermediary. Step back, the braking we need is braking relative to the sun, not relative to Earth. So, how can Venus take away speed without touching Parker? Now, switch viewpoints and ride along with Venus. This is a reference frame, a chosen moving viewpoint for measuring velocities. In the Venus frame, Parker approaches on a hyperbolic trajectory, an open swing-by path. Gravity pulls Parker in, it accelerates near closest approach, and then it climbs back out and slows again. Our full video explaining this was posted recently. Check it out on our channel profile now.